What's the difference between a body lotion, body cream, and a body butter? Well, honestly, all three of them moisturize your skin and all three work in different ways and they have different chemical differences and texture. But at the end of the day, all three will help dry skin. A good moisturizing product will have a combination of humectants, occlusives, and emollients but the ratio of these ingredient groups will depend on the skin type of which the product is being used. Humectants are ingredients that draw water or moisture to the skin's surface. An example would be glycerin or sorbitol. An emollient is an ingredient that adds oil to the skin to help smooth and repair the skin's barrier. And an inclusive is heavier than an emollient and creates a physical barrier in the skin's surface to lock in hydration. So an example of this would be petroleum jelly like Vaseline or mineral oil. So formula-wise, a body lotion is typically a liquid, usually in a bottle or tube, but it doesn't always have to be, and may be slightly runny or have low viscosity if we want to be technical. Lotions tend to have high water content to make them less viscous and easier to spread over the whole body. They usually contain a higher level of humectants, which make them a lightweight, fast drying option compared to creams. Great if you don't want to be left with a sticky feeling. Lotions would generally contain less emollients like butters and oils as you don't want a heavy feeling lotion. For body creams, these are typically much higher in viscosity, usually still a liquid but a very thick one. They tend to be rich and creamy feeling or have a whipped consistency and contain higher levels of emollients and occlusives. They might contain plant oils or butters like shea butter and cocoa butter. Body creams are better for areas of the body with dry, rough skin, which needs intensive moisture and deep hydration like the joint areas. Body butters are very similar to body creams in that their texture and appearance may be similar. Body butters can also have that rich, creamy texture, but you may find that the sensory of the product in your hands resembles a butter and may spread like a butter too. Body butters tend to be solid based, like a balm, with low or no water content and with high levels of butters and oils. But you may also find some body butters are marketed as just very thick creams instead. Body butters can have a slightly greasy texture or even oily residue, so it might not be great when used daily on certain skin types. Now packaging wise, if we think about the containers for these products, Typically, a body lotion will be stored in a bottle or tube, whereas a body cream or body butter may be stored in a jar or tin. This is primarily due to the ease of use and consumer application. Other factors like which body parts the product will be used on, the cost of the product and pack recyclability will also play a role on the product purchase. Ultimately, the decision to use either a body lotion, body cream or body butter is down to personal preference, seasonal changes and skin type. A body butter may be too heavy or greasy for a person with oily skin, while a body lotion might not be moisturising enough for someone with rough, dry skin. Whichever product you choose, applying moisturising products straight after a bath or shower is the best kind for application to lock in moisture, and you don't have to use only one of them. For more insights into the world of manufacturing consumer products, head to dcsgroup.com and corerange.com.